What we're saying is there has been a Palestinian effort that has failed. I mean, people look, whether it's Hamas or somebody else, they look at 30 years of effort to, to arrive at the resolution that the United States has signed to, and in fact sponsored in 1993. Huh? And it has gone nowhere. We see the settlements expand. We see the, the occupation uh, become more violent against the Palestinians. People are more imprisoned and so on. So if people continue to look at the past and only the past that has happened for decades and decades without uh, being willing to sign on to a positive vision of the future, we will never have a peaceful way out of this conflict. Not just the, the current conflict in Gaza, uh, but an actual resolution to the long-standing uh, conflict between Israel and Palestinians. Well, but the problem with that, Matt, is that you have called for in every single that, conflict around the world there to be accountability for things that have happened in the past. And now you're saying, oh, well, just forget no, about that, it. No, that's not. My point is there has to be at some point a, rec a political reconciliation. And so I think Saeed's point was, why would Hamas agree to lay down arms when we have seen grievance after grievance go on for decades? And the point that we have made, and you've heard this, the, pre the, the secretary speak to this a number of times. Fair enough, Ultimately, I mean, there are two paths. There is, you can continue down this path where we talk about what happened decades and decades ago and, and uh, try to address that with, through violent activities or we can have a peaceful resol peaceful resolution to this. And yeah, of course you can and I say and of course there's a process for addressing legitimate grievances through that process. But what I'm saying and the point that we have made is continuing to uh, uh, carry out violence as the solution to decades but, but old grievances legitimate is a path is, is a path to continued conflict and a never ending cycle but, that does not advance the interests but, of the Palestinians. But, but you're talking interests. about addressing legitimate grievances from the past, right? Uh, yes, and my point is through violence will just lead you in this never-ending cycle that, we, that the, the region has been in for decades.